Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another video in my Looking Back series. And today, we're gonna look back 31 years to 1989. And today, we're gonna look at the WWF or WWE's first ever licensed game here in the United States. Today, we're gonna look at WWF WrestleMania. On the front of the box, we have the Hulkamania running wild, and it says that WWF WrestleMania, published by Acclaim Entertainment, features Hulk Hogan and other WWF superstars. On the back of the box, we are introduced to the other five wrestlers featured in this game. Randy Macho Man Savage, Andre the Giant, the Honky Tonk Man, the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, and the Beast from the East, Bam Bam Bigelow. The description on the box says, you've always dreamed of being Hulk Hogan or Randy Macho Man Savage or one of the other WWF superstars, and now here's your chance. Challenge your opponent to a rough and tumble match featuring drop kicks, headlocks, body slams, and a whole arsenal of bone crunching wrestling moves or create your own WWF WrestleMania tournament and compete against your friends or the computer to crown the undisputed WWF champion from one to six can play. So put on your wrestling trunks, step into the ring and get ready to experience WWF WrestleMania from the inside. Now it's time to fire up this retro NES game and to see if it's still worth a trip down memory lane. Now in 2020, having a roster of only six wrestlers would be totally unacceptable. But I remember as a youngster playing this for the first time, I was just excited that Hulkamania could run wild with the touch of a button. Now admittedly, even as a kid, I knew this game wasn't great. The move arsenal of these six characters was extremely limited. Sure, you could give your opponent an open hand chop with Andre the Giant, or nail your opponent over the head with an elbow by the Macho Man, but the only real strategy of this game was to try and corner your opponent near the ropes and assault them by pressing the A and B buttons as fast as you could, wearing them down with kicks and punches. While there was some grappling in the game, it was extremely limited and really not as effective as just pummeling your opponent with basic strikes. There was also the ability to climb to the top rope, while very cool for its time, it really wasn't a good strategic move in this game. One of the very unique factors of this game was that it had power-ups. If you were running low on health, the Hulkster could grab his cross, or the Macho Man could grab his signature shades to help your character to victory. With this game being released in January of 1989, you were able to relive the epic battle of WrestleMania 3 between Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Now my final thoughts of the WWF WrestleMania game released in 1989 on the NES and playing it in 2020. Well, the first couple matches were a nice little trip down memory lane, but unfortunately the nostalgia in this game wears off very quickly. The game is extremely basic and the fun factor wears off quickly. The pros, while it's not a great game, it still laid the groundwork for better games like WrestleMania Challenge. Another pro, hey, at least the game was playable at launch, unlike the mess that WWE 2K20 was. Now, growing up, did any of you guys ever play this WWF WrestleMania game, or have you even played it recently, or does it deserve to just stay in the past? And who was your favorite character to use in this game? Leave me a comment below, and guys, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now. Thank you.